Okay everybody, so after much pressure from residents, many state governments have officially decided to send out more stimulus money this year, and millions of people across the country can expect at least one extra stimulus check from their state or city. You want to continue watching this video because you definitely don't want to miss out on the most important stimulus check information, social security news, and SSDI, and SSI information. Don't miss out on this folks because we have a ton of news to cover. As inflation stands at a four decade high, families across the country continue to feel the burden, leading some governors and other lawmakers to push for new stimulus checks, payments, and rebates in a bid to ease the financial toll that are facing people. At the outset of the crisis, Congress came together in March to provide the American people with stimulus checks. Now. The stimulus checks proved enormously popular with millions of people. As a result, many state leaders have launched their own initiatives and families feel the crunch of inflation hitting their pocketbooks. Lawmakers in Maine recently passed a state-funded relief program that will send out one-off payments worth around 850 bucks per person. The Maine governor approved the proposal and that is designed to help residents deal with increased costs as a result of driven crisis inflation ranging from the higher energy costs to increased prices of everyday goods. As we can see folks, it's definitely necessary for President Biden to send out stimulus checks and social security benefits faster and sooner. If you guys agree, tell me in the comments down below. Not only that folks, but we have this information to talk about. The $850 main relief payments are made available for residents who already receive some form of financial aid or will get the social security or supplemental security income, provided they meet the eligibility criteria. It is estimated that around 858,000 Maine residents are eligible to receive the $850 support payment. To trigger the payment, they simply have to file a Maine individual income tax return for 2021 as a full-time resident by October 31st, 2022. The claimant must be a filer rather than dependent on someone else's tax return and they must have an adjusted gross income that falls below the threshold, which is $100,000 for individual filers, $150,000 for head of household filers. Now you do not have to pay a certain amount of tax to be eligible for the payment and you can receive the support even if you have an unpaid tax bill owed to the state. But some people who usually re but some who are not usually required to follow a tax return will have to do so to trigger a payment, as was the case with the stimulus checks sent out earlier in the day. The main stimulus payments will be distributed in, this, in a series of waves to prevent the administrative body from being overwhelmed. The relief check will be sent via USPS to whatever address is listed on a 2021 Maine Individual Income Tax Return. Unlike the national stimulus checks, all payments in Maine will be sent out as a physical check. And now residents of Indiana expecting a little extra in their tax refund will have to wait a bit longer this year. Almost all Indiana taxpayers are due to receive a one-time $125 automatic taxpayer refund from the state. And married couples filing jointly will get $250. The state is returning $545 million to Indiana residents after ending its fiscal year with a surplus. Under state law, the excess money turns into a refundable credit. But everybody, anyone expecting to receive that money with a typical refund will be disappointed. That's because the money is separated from any refund you may get from filing your 2021 state income tax return. And according to Indiana Department of Revenue, taxpayers will receive one-time direct deposits to their bank accounts beginning this month. This month will continue throughout December. Throughout the summer, and Governor Eric Holcomb says that Indiana residents should expect to begin receiving the refund in the coming weeks. Folks, do you think that President Biden will send out stimulus checks before the end of the year? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Right now, President Biden is considering canceling debt for the 43 million Americans who have student loans. Now, this policy is incredibly popular with the American public, no matter who you ask. And that includes people with student loans and people without student loans. Big majorities support cancellation. And I think the reason for that is that there is scarcely a working person in America who does not have a friend, a family member, a co-worker who is weighed down by student loan debt. But if you're listening to the talking heads with fancy degrees who oppose this policy, you might be under the impression that the borrowers who the president wants to help are all wealthy. They're all wealthy Harvard grads who don't need any help with their loans. So what I'd like to do is just look deeper into the data. Dr. Bishop, you're an expert on student borrowers and their experience in the student loan system. What does the data say about who borrows money to attend college? 
Are they generally very wealthy? I think the data is quite clear that those who borrow student loans are not wealthy, that they are not people who have high levels of assets, um, that more than half of, of borrowers with student loans um, or more than half of student debt is held by families with zero or negative household health. Um, and, and especially when we're looking at communities of color, where again, we see almost 90% of black students borrowing student loans compared to 68% of white students. So the idea that student loans are carried by wealthy families, I think is something that doesn't show up in the data and also is something that, again, goes against what we understand as rich people or wealth. In this okay, country. so these are people who are borrowing are people with, at best, very modest means. Um, let's take a look then about the kinds of schools they attend. Do most borrowers take out loans so they can attend elite schools or business schools, Dr. Bishop? No, and as someone who went, to, as someone who's a low-income student who went to one of these elite schools, we know that the vast majority of borrowers are not coming from the Ivy League. That when we look at those selective schools, we see around 0.3 percent of all borrowers come from the Ivy League. Well, wait a minute, Dr. Bishop. Can you say that one the other way? What proportion of student loan borrowers are not coming from the Ivy Leagues? So 99 percent come from institutions that are not. Means uh, on a month-over-month -month basis, we're only up three tenths. That is a miss. If you look at year over year, they were up 5.5. That's a nice solid number. And on jobs, 428,000. This is our 12th month, an even dozen now over 400,000. I would have picked 410,000, so I would have been close. 406,000 is private payrolls, 55,000, well above expectations on manufacturing. And if we look at the work week, 34.6, same as last time. We were looking for a little bit more out of that. And here we go, the labor force participation rate. Everybody's looking at this, and it is a miss. 62.2, 62.2, that's two tenths down from 62.4 our last look and just to point out where was it pre-COVID well in February of 2020 it was 63.4 if we look at the underemployment rate it actually moved up from 6.9 to 7 percent so many are going to say ah it's not a great number but I will continue to say jobs 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 428,000 isn't bad. We could all go over the uh, intricacies of all the other aspects of this, but my opinion right. is it's a good number. We haven't seen a lot of volatility in the uh, fixed income markets here. Uh, the equity pre-market opening definitely has improved. I'll throw it back to you, well, Mr. Yeah, I just Kernan. want to get, get Stephen. Yeah, we did turn positive briefly uh, on the Dow, now back negative, but Steve, you didn't uh, talk beforehand, and the least maniacs are waiting. It's, it's, uh, it was a real crime, Joe. Um, look, uh, it's, I want to echo what, what Rick said. I was looking for participation rates.